Okay, so this is exercise 2.2 in ID. This is actually number one. We're missing a number here. But we're going to draw this part in a one perspective view. Now, they're giving us the box here, and we're going to do it again on graph paper to show you the difference. Um, but we're just going to, first thing we do is we're going to put in the box that this part fits in. So I'm just going to connect the dots here. They gave you the dots here. So I'm, like, this is, I'm going to draw this dark for now. But you want to draw this nice and light because these are just guidelines. They are not object lines yet. Some of them it will be. Some of them will not. But this is step one right here is just to draw this box. So this is step one. Draw the box. Next, we're going to draw our vanishing point lines back here. Again, nice and light. From here, here, and here, going back to our single point back here. Let's draw these in. Line them up. And there we go. So that's our step two. Vanishing point lines, perspective lines. Okay, now to draw, so we've got our width, height, and we don't have our depth yet. Now I usually will just make a mark or sometimes I'll measure off how many cubes wide this is and I'll go back that same distance back. But we already have a guideline here and that's fine. We'll just use this. So we're just gonna draw this down from here to here. And then we're gonna go across from this point to this point. Again, this should be nice and light, but I'm just drawing it a little darker for everybody so you can see what we've got. Now, step three, and this is all just prep, all of it. Step three, we have to grid this out. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna call this a grid because we need to know how wide this is, by how tall this is, by how deep this is. So if we count this, it's kind of, tricky to count it, but we can do this. We're gonna, this is going back at this from the right side. This is looking at it from the left side. So if you go from the right side, we're gonna go one, two, back, and then up, and then one, two. So it's gonna be four across. So I'm gonna just break this up. I'm gonna eyeball this. It's about half. Split that in half again, and that in half again. So we've got one, two, three, four. And then the height here, we can go see this is going the full length here. So if this is our base, this is one, two, three. So we're going to break this up into three parts here. And again, we're just we don't have a grid. If you had graph paper, it would make it a little bit easier. But we're just going to break this up like that. That's. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Right there. All right about there. Let's put this back in. There we go. Now. The next thing we want to do is we need to know how far back this goes, and we can do this off the right or left side, but we can just do it off the right. That's a little bit easier. So go back one, two. So we need to split this in half because this needs to be divided into two sections. And I'm not going to work off this line. It's a good habit to get out working on this line. We're putting our grid, so we want to work off our, our horizontal line, our vertical line, and then our depth line here. So I'm going to put my little mark right there. That's about halfway. So now I'm going to grid this up. So I'm going to work off just the front here. Again, nice light lines. Just bring these across. Keep them parallel to your top and bottom line as much as you can. And then I'm going to do my vertical lines here. Keep them parallel to your other vertical lines. And then we're going to put on our vanishing point lines. So similar to what we did here, we're going to just draw them off these points back to our vanishing point back here. So we get those two. And then we've got these three on top. We're going to bring these back to our vanishing point too. So one, two, and three. Okay, so we have one more step to do. Now we have to put in our depth grid here. So 
Here's a halfway point. So we're going to draw a vertical line right here between the front edge and the back edge to split this in half. So keep it parallel. Don't even want to go to an angle like this or an angle like this. Keep it parallel to this line here and bring this down. And then we're going to also take this across this way and keeping it parallel to these two. So let's bring this across. And now we have our grid that we're going to fill in. Okay, so the next part, we're just going to fill in kind of the, the, the outside of the box here. So we're going to start with, we're just going to start with the front here, and then we'll do this left side and then the top. So let's start with the front. So we're just going to count this off. We're going to go one, two, three over and two up. So one, two, three. I'm going to put a mark there. We go two up, and we go three back, and then here. So we can we know this is going to be object line. So I'm going to just make this nice and dark. This up here too. Darken this in. Then I'll do my vertical lines here. My vertical lines here. Okay. Now on the left side. This is the back, this back corner right here is this corner right here. So we know we got to go up one, two, three, come over one, come back three down and over one. So this corner right here, we're going to go up three, all the way top. So one, two, three, come across one, bring this over one, and then this is going to come down. And this is also going to be an object line here. Now on the top, we're going to have to go over, just count it over. One, two, back over, and then back two. So from here, this is where it gets a little tricky, but we're going to go over one, two, put a mark, come back, and then fill this in. So this is going to be an object line. Now use your ruler to make this nice and straight. You can see I'm already a little bit off. Put your ruler in there, make a nice straight line, and that's another object line. And now we can start filling in the rest of this. So the next part, let's put in these two lines here. So to get these, this one is actually going to be just like this one is going straight across and this one is going straight across. This one is also going to be from this point straight across, but I don't know where it's going to stop just yet. So I'm going to draw in a nice light line here, just nice and light. And then this corner is actually going to be going back. So this corner right here is going to be going back to our vanishing point and where it crosses the line that we just drew right here, this right here is this corner right here. So now I can darken this in. And these are going to be object lines. So now we've got that. So let's put in this vertical line next. And again, I'm just going to draw parallel to this line and to this line, and I'm going to draw it nice and length. I don't know where it ends yet, but I know that's where it's going to be. And then I know it. this line has to connect up with this point here going back. So again, this, is a, this point is going towards the back. It's, it's This is part of the depth here. So I'm going to go from this corner, and again, I'm going to go to my vanishing point back here, and I'm going to stop. Oops. I'm going to stop where it meets this vertical line right here, here to here. And this is going to be this corner, and this line is going to be this right here. So now I can darken this in. So these are going to be my object lines here. Okay, so I can erase part of that line I drew in. So it's coming together. So now I've got this. So now we just have to add in a few more. Let's put in these two right here. Let's work off these points. Now I'm going to draw this in. Let's do this from the top. I don't know how far it's going to go over yet. Okay, nice light line. But I know where this and this meet is what I need to have. So off this corner right here, which is right here, we're going to bring this down and where it meets this line, that's where we're going to stop. So that's going to be right there, and then we can darken this one in, right there, we can get rid of that other line we drew. So now that's this and this. And then we got two more, so we got to put in the back, or the right top corner right here, and then this back end right here, which is a little tricky, 
but what, you'll see how it looks in just a second. So I'm going to go for my corner right here, and again, this is going to go back to my vanishing point. So I'm going to go from here back to my vanishing point, nice and light for right now. And then to put this line in to figure out where this is, this is here's the trick. Based off of this point right here where my vanishing point line meets the back end, that's going to be the back, so I have to go up. This goes up one, two. So on this side, we can't see it over here, but it should match up the same height as these on this side. So we're going to have one, two, and we're going to draw this. Let's do it this way so I can be parallel here. But, but when we do this, I'm going to start at this line right here on my drawing, which would be right here, and bring it over to meet the line I just drew across. So there we go. So there's the back of my bottom half right here, and then I can darken in the side here. Now don't forget to shade this. Um, we're going to put some shading in here as well when you're finished. So go ahead and, and you can look at how to do that. It's on your paper but it should look something like this when you're finished. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or talk to me during class, and we'll get you squared away.